Let's uh, take a minute here and talk about break and continue. Break and continue are kind of special exceptions that can be used inside the for loop, the while loop, the do while, and the switch that we've uh, already taken a look at. Break causes execution to exit the loop or the switch immediately. Remember in a switch we had multiple items and we had to put a break after each one so that we could get out of the switch? Well, this is the same break. We haven't seen continue yet, but what continue does is it causes the loop's execution to jump right to the test section. If it's a do while, it jumps to the bottom, uh, to the while uh, expression. If it's a normal while, the continue skips over all of the rest of the statements of the while that are after the continue and jumps up to the expression to see if we should leave or not. In a for loop, a continue causes execution to stop what it's doing and jump to the adjustment, the rightmost part of the for loop after, after the second semicolon, so that the adjustment is made, then the test is made, and we decide whether to go on into uh, the top of the for loop again. Continue just lets you get past uh, some kind of negative results or negative situation that you know darn well you should not run the rest of the loop and there's no reason to continue on processing. You've hit an error, um, the end of a line, something like that, and you want to quit doing what you're doing, but you don't want to leave the loop yet. You want to continue processing more information. Break means you want to get out of there right now. Let's go take a look at a quick example of continue. Here's our, our little program from before that takes in characters and prints out the ASCII value. Uh, this is what we did with our with our uh, do while statement a few minutes ago. If uh, I, however, here in our continue, if I is equal to a capital X, we'll just continue like it never happened. And the continue will jump us over this down to our test. Our test will still not be uh, false. It will not drop us out. Uh, I will still not be equal to Q. So we'll come back up here and we'll get another character. We'll just completely ignore the letter X if uh, somebody types that in. Okay, so let's go over and make that happen. I called it break.c, and there it is. Let's run it. So it's sitting there waiting, and it does what it did before with different letters. But notice this time, if I put an uppercase X, it just ignores it and asks for another letter. And then eventually, an uppercase Q will stop the program, just like it's supposed to. But that shows you that the continue did its job and made us jump over the rest of this loop down here to our test. Very simple, but still powerful and very necessary to save a lot of execution time and to make your programs much more efficient uh, and easier to read. The break is absolutely necessary in the switch, or the switch just couldn't, uh, switch case just couldn't work without the break. So that's break and continue.